Why you do this to me? <laughs> this is very hard. I mean, it's almost impossible to answer because both of them have a, such a special place in history and in my heart. <laughs> Hey all at Impericon, here's Andreas Kisser from Sepultura. I'm very happy to be here to answer the 25 questions. So let's do this. So question number one, Palmeiras or Corinthians? So for you that don't know what that is, there are two of my dearest rivals in football. I'm a supporter of São Paulo Futebol Clube, the best team in Brazil and South America. And uh, I have to choose Corinthians because this is the biggest rival of São Paulo, historically. And it's always amazing to win against Corinthians. So, there we go. Fakken or Rock in Rio? Difficult question because they are both amazing festivals. Of course, Vakin is more oriented to heavier music. And Rock in Rio is more diverse. Uh, it's a longer, uh, more than a week or two weekends and stuff. But I have to say Rock in Rio because uh, without Rock in Rio, the scene of Brazilian rock wouldn't be what it is today. Also, they opened the room for uh, Brazilian bands, you know, the rock Brazilian bands. And we played Rock in Rio in 1991, which it changed our history forever, especially here in Brazil, that opened a lot of doors for the, the general media and not only the heavy metal media, you know. So I have to say Rock in Rio, but I love them both. Arise or Roots? I have to say Arise. Arise, uh, without Arise, Roots wouldn't be possible. Arise really put Sepultura on the worldwide map. We did an amazing three-year tour and uh, it was a, a special album that a lot of people still mention as a very important one in their lives and same here, you know, so Arise. Spotify or CD Vinyl? It's, it's difficult because Spotify is a great tool for research uh, albums that um, even I didn't know existed, you know, from bands I like and stuff. But I prefer vinyl to, to listen to the album, to open, to smell, you know, the artwork. In heavy metal, the artwork and the cover is very important. I still prefer, you know, to put the vinyl, turn to side B. Uh, which also was an influence for us to write and to organize our last album, Quadra. Uh, side A, Side B, you know, in heavy metal history, Side B is very important. You know, Number of the Beast opens uh, the Side B, you know, and the name of the album, a very important album, etc. So I think vinyl, for sure. Recording session or rehearsal session? You know, rehearsal is more authentic, it's more real, it's more close to the stage, you know, the sound and the interaction you have with the band, it's more real, you know, it's not separate as we do on studio, so rehearsal sessions. Festival or club? This is a very common question that we, we get. It's very hard for me to choose, but um, I'll say festival because the, of, of the overall situation. Of course, not only to have the stage and have hundreds of thousands of people there. You know, we play big festivals like Rock in Rio, 200,000 people and Donington and all the big festivals in the world, basically, you know. Uh, and I choose festivals because of the backstage area where you you meet your idols, you you see your friends, um, you, you have uh, chats on the backstage that uh, might have been uh, a collaboration, a new collaboration and... Uh, it's great. It's a great atmosphere. It's where um, you really have the chance, you know, to talk to, to people that you admire and people that you're going to know, new bands and etc. And of course, the crew and management and booking agent and all the people that are a part of the business, you know. Festivals are a great event that really put together many people and uh, it's a great atmosphere always. <laughs> Mosh pit or standing in the back? Well, nowadays standing in the back for sure. <laughs> Not young anymore. But uh, I have to, to say the last time I went to a mosh pit was in 1992 when we were touring with Ministry. And I went in on the mosh pit on the Ministry show at their peak, you know, it was a fantastic tour for us. It was a Ministry, Helmet and Sepultura. 
It was an amazing tour. It was at the end of the whole um, a rice touring cycle. You know, we were getting ready to go to to Chaos AD, and you, you feel as well the influence of ministry on Chaos AD, you know, more groovier, whatever, uh, loopier riffs and stuff that repeats uh, more often. And uh, I went on the mosh pit. It was an amazing experience, you know. But um, it's hard to say. I have to say standing in the back now, you know, drinking something and enjoying the show and taking you know, good uh, attention on sound and lights, which is something uh, that I admire a lot, especially in heavy metal that you have, you know, great bands putting together great shows that you, 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 you don't want to miss all the stuff that's going on on stage. Iron Maiden or Judas Priest? Come on, man. Why you do this to me? <laughs> this is very hard. I mean, it's almost impossible to answer because both of them it was such a special place in history and in my heart. <laughs> but I don't know, let's say Judas Priest, because that was the first riff I learned on guitar, especially from the album Bridge is Steel. It's an album that uh, really balanced the heavy metal and the punk vibe of the era. You know, the influence of Sex Pistols and the Ramones. And um, I think they balance and they created that masterpiece, you know. Fast food or healthy food? Of course, I'll choose healthy food. It's something that um, it's great to see that people are more concerned about what type of food uh, they eat today, you know, with vegetarianism and veganism, you know. So healthy food, I try the best I can. Of course, with the pandemic situation, it's much easier if you have a routine on the same place, sleeping on the same bed, you know, I'm doing some more exercises and food goes along with it. Of course, I have to say healthy food and Take care of yourself too, you know, eat healthier. Beach or mountains? I think mountains. You know, I like the beach, I like the sea, I like water and stuff. And But mountains, I, I love the, the spirits of the mountains, you know, the, the sounds. And uh, here in Brazil, we have many different places to visit and to, to go to different uh, period of times and the summer and winter. I have to say mountains. Acai or coffee? Acai for sure. I was never a, a coffee drinker, never liked coffee. And I say acai I really liked a lot. We have many ways of preparing uh, this amazing fruit. It's very energetic. Of course, very calor uh, calories as well. So you don't, don't abuse too much. But uh, once in a while is great. And um, here in Brazil, they prepare in many different ways and it's fantastic. So acai it is. <laughs> Neymar or Messi? Wow, tough spot here. <laughs> You're dealing with nations here, man. But um, regardless of nation, of course, I'm a Brazilian. I always root for Brazil. I like Messi a lot. You know, I like Barcelona. I like what he does. I like his style. The way he is off pitch as well, you know. Uh, being away to, a little bit from the media and not very much concerned about the sport itself, you know, and I think Neymar suffered a lot of criticism uh, about his uh, way of being, you know, which uh, I'm not judging anyone. I mean, anyone is free to be whatever they want. We have a lot of mediatic players out there, Ibrahimovic and, you know, Beckham, whatever. <laughs> um, but I like Messi, you know, overall his style his way of playing, his history, his story is amazing, you know. Besides being a Brazilian, I will choose Messi. DRI or Bad Brains? Yeah, I, I have to say Bad Brains. I really enjoy their mixture of hardcore and reggae. Uh, you know, they have a very specific way, very unique way of playing music, guitar, bass, drums. Derek Green, our singer, also brought a lot of their influence because he also made a test or a try to be a new singer for Bad Brains when HR left the band, which is very interesting. And we record when Derek came into the band uh, a cover uh, from Bad Brains. Game of Thrones or Walking Dead? Actually, I just started to watch Game of Thrones. Um, I love uh, that history, you know, in general. Of course, that's not history itself, but uh, there's a lot of influence of, of what happened throughout the history. 
and uh, it's fa fantastic. Gym or couch? I like exercises, I like sports. Uh, I like to move uh, the body. Of course, touring, it's also a, an exercise in itself. You know, one hour and a half on stage, getting ready. I have my bicycle when I'm on tour, so I, you know, go places and stuff. It's fantastic. I actually don't like too much, you know, have weights and stuff like that and uh, the whole atmosphere of a gym. But I have to say exercise. Ozzy or Lemmy? Come on, man. You know, I have to show you something here that's always looking at me. I have to share with you. So, Ozzy, Black Sabbath, Randy Rhodes, a big, big influence of my, of my life. You know, uh, I love Ozzy Osbourne, everything he did. But I have to say Lemmy because uh, Motorhead as well. You know, No Sleep to Hammersmith is one of the albums that I listen uh, the most, you know, in my life. And uh, it's a big influence. I think, um, of course, the relationship with, that we had with Motorhead, touring with them in the many tours, many festivals. Lemmy jammed with us, Orgasmatron on stage. I jammed with Motorhead many occasions, going to Brazil, Overkill, and many other situations. We had the same manager for a while, the same crew, basically. They stole the Brazilian crew, <laughs> Brazilian crew uh, from Sepultura to Motorhead. And it's a privilege, you know, to, to have that uh, interaction. I still love Motorhead a lot. Uh, Phil Campbell is a good friend. And Lemmy, you know, what, what can you say about Lemmy? He was always so nice with us, very supportive when Derek Green came into Sepultura, which we had the same management during that time. Lemmy was very motivational for us because he was really, dude, this is the guy, you know, go for it. Fuck them all. <laughs> And uh, this is very powerful coming from him, you know, and that he cared about and he was really willing to express his opinion, you know, to us. And uh, always, you know, in a very special place in my memory, in my heart. Of course, I love them both, but I have to choose Lemmy. Playing FIFA or playing Battlefield? I have to say FIFA. Although I like war stories and as I said, you know, history in general, I cannot really play with the, that fast moving, you know, <laughs> uh, with the guns and looking all around 360 and, you know, I feel very dizzy and and um, it's not really good for me. <laughs> and FIFA, on the other hand, is, is great. I, I, I had a lot of fun. I still have. I remember the tour we did with In Flames um, a few years ago and it was great. They had a whole setup of a great TV set every every show and um, with the FIFA we made like a tournament a World Cup uh, Roy Mayorga was with us as well you know it was really special tour it was a great and uh, every day we were there killing each other <laughs> in football beer or water water I quit drink uh, drinking alcohol uh, for a year and a half now. But don't get me wrong, I love beer. I think beer is a great drink if you are responsible, of course. And um, it's something that, uh, especially in Europe, you have so many different uh, types of beer, so many. It's a great uh, journey, actually, you know. But um, it's also a dangerous journey. <laughs> if you get lost, you know, in the alcoholic world and... Uh, you start losing touch, you know, with the friends and family and stuff. And uh, you have to be really careful. So I'll say water. Without water, wouldn't be beer, right? <laughs> Movie theater or Netflix? Movie theater. I love the atmosphere. You know, popcorn, get in a line, <laughs> you know, uh, excited to see something new. Atmosphere, the sound you know, the big screen and stuff, it's, uh, you cannot beat that. My first adventure, uh, when I was nine years old, 1977, when the Star Wars came out, it was my first adventure by myself to go to a movie theater. And I never forget that feeling, you know, it was, it was like a great conquest. <laughs> it was such an amazing experience, you know, so um, movie theater it is, you cannot really compare. <laughs> Dilma Rousseff or Jair Bolsonaro? Politics. It sucks. I hate politics. I hate fucking concepts of left and right, communist, capitalism, 
ism, 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 ism all over the place. People are so stupid. You know, they use misinformation and fake news, especially now, you know. So never Bolsonaro, of course. He's the worst that could happen to any country. Unfortunately, it happened to Brazil, you know, very ignorant, uh, stupid in a matter of talking to people, disrespectful, whatever you want to call it. And um, when we need a leader in the most needed time, we don't have one. There was no national plan to, to fight COVID, you know. So we are paying now with delays in vaccines and all those crazy concepts of... Uh, you know, fake news and conspiracy theories, uh, negationism, you know. So um, he's the worst that could happen. But Dilma Rousseff as well, like, was never great, you know, far from it. <laughs> so it's very hard. I, I cannot really choose uh, one. I hope that we have a new, uh, and we do, we have new people. We have new people here in Brazil that are trying to, to create um, something different, you know. Brazil is much richer, it's much um, powerful than this fucking stupid ideology. I mean, there's a lot more going on in Brazil that we should uh, be aware. The environment, you know, that's what I would like to fight for, the environment. You know, protect the forest, protect the indigenous people, learn with them. We have a lot to learn with them, especially uh, how they deal with roots and health and nature, how they can extract from nature without destroying nature, without the concept of profit and all that shit, you know? So fuck politics. Uh, we, we, we should learn with ourselves, with our country itself. We have a lot to, to, to extract here that we could build something better for everyone, you know? Yeah, there we go. Fuck politics. I'll, I'll, I'll stay with or as well, because it's really hard to choose between those two. Number 24, kids or pets? I mean, for me, it's not a matter of choice. I mean, um, kids are kids forever. My, my daughter is 26 years old. She's a kid, still a kid for me, you know, in many aspects. And all of my kids, I have three kids. And I have many pets throughout my life. I love dogs. You know, dogs are, are fantastic people, <laughs> if you want to call them like that. But uh, dogs are amazing. I have great memories uh, of amazing pets that I had throughout my life. And dogs were always there, you know, either uh, when I was younger and now and stuff. So I love dogs. I love pets. But you cannot compare. You know, kids are, are a part of you, you know, your family. Uh, you learn a lot with your own son and, and daughter. Um, they bring you new information because of so fast the, the changing information that we have nowadays, like never before. I'm very thankful that um, I'm privileged together with my wife. We have three kids now waiting to be a grandfather. <laughs> let's see if that happens soon. You know, let's wait. Winter or summer? Uh, winter. I love, I love the cold. I'm really doing this ice bath, cold showers for almost a year now, and uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> London or Berlin? Difficult question. I love both cities, and I have to admit also a privilege, you know, to be so many times in London and Berlin because of different touring. We have the privilege to visit Berlin before the wall fell, a few months before, like in 1989. But London, you know, Marquee Club, Br Brixton Academy, whatever, I mean, you know, London's so special for a musician uh, in, in rock, hard rock and metal to, to be a part of this scene. It's really hard, man, I don't know. I don't know, let's say Berlin, you know, because of the history of as well behind, you know, especially Second World War, which is so intense and so interesting, you know. And there's a lot of uh, hidden treasures <laughs> around Berlin that is really powerful and the wall and etc. you know. So uh, let's say Berlin. Blind Guardian or Halloween? It's really hard to, to choose bands, uh, but I have to say Halloween I, because it's the band that I know a little better than Blind Guardian. Blind Guardian, we have the chance to tour together and it's, it's a great, amazing band, very unique as well. But Halloween, uh, I know a little better. The, the Seven Keys album, it's a fantastic. Walls of Jericho as well. And of course, it's a very influential band. You know, Halloween really 
uh, on the melodic, whatever metal style, you know, they were, they are one of the pioneers, the way of the singing and the guitar leads and stuff. Fantastic job, fantastic thing, you know. So uh, we all the respect to everyone, you know. Halloween it is. <laughs> So the last one, Nightliner or Van? Tour bus, Nightliner, of course. Although we did do, uh, the two, uh, especially on the first tour in the States, we did the whole country in a van. And we, one of the shows, we had a guest traveling with us from the Bay Area to, to Los Angeles, Paul Bailoff. <laughs> I never forget that trip, man. It was amazing. We played at the Oakland, um, the city of Oakland in uh, the Bay Area region. All of them came, even Metallica, Violent, Sadus, you know, all those bands, you know, Machine Head and stuff, Robin, etc. So, uh, tour bus, I mean, you cannot really compare. You know, tour bus is our house. Uh, when you have the comfort of traveling, you, you, you rest better, you get prepared for the next show, you know, which is the most important thing. You know, we're there to play. Uh, to be ready and fit to, to the show, you know. So the tour bus, it's um, fundamental for have that recharging and recovering, you know, from show to show and uh, tour bus. And I miss the tour bus a lot. Uh, it's our second house and hopefully we'll be back soon. Yeah, thank you so much for the invitation to be here with you all. Very difficult questions, some of them, but uh, nevertheless, it was really cool to to chat with you all or to you know express my opinions about things and hopefully we see each other on the road very soon all right listen to quadra we have a new album Sepul quarta out uh so go check it out as well and uh see you soon thank you in pericon valeu